I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll actually investigate one of the most important applications of uh, Lee Hospital's rule. Now here we have a formula which gives you the amount when A0 is the invested amount, the principal has been invested over a period of t years at interest rate of i and n is the number of times the amount is being compounded per year, right? Then finally, after t years, that amount increases to a. So that's the formula which represents the investment after t years when investment is done at interest rate of i over a period of t years and n is the compounding numbers per year. Now the idea is that if we make it continuous compounding, right, that is when we say continuous compounding, we are trying to say that n, the number of times compounding is being done per year is almost infinity, is approaching infinity, right? So every minute it is being compounded, kind of like this, right? Then what happens to the formula? How is a related with the invested amount a0 right so we can find the limit of this function which is uh, 1 plus i over n to the power of nt where the compounding period n is continuous means approaching infinity right so this is what we are interested in finding so that is a factor by which initial amount or the principal is being multiplied to get the final value of the investment after t years, right? Now as you can see here, if I write n as infinity, 1 over i over n becomes 0, right? And this becomes infinity. So that is the case of 1 to the power of infinity, right? So that is the indeterminate power. So we can apply Lee Hospital's rule in this particular case. Now in case of indeterminate powers, we need to take logarithms on both the sides. So let us define the variable y as equal to 1 plus i over n to the power of nt and taking log, the natural log, ln, we get ln y equals to nt ln 1 plus i over n, right? So that's what we get. Now, we'll find its limit as n approaches infinity. So we could write this as limit n approaches infinity for ln y equals to, now in nt, t is a constant. We know those are the number of years the money has been invested for. So we can write t outside limit n approaches infinity and we we'll write ln 1 plus i over n and this n could be written as 1 over n correct so it gives you the indeterminate form now if n is infinity we get 1 over n as 0 if n is infinity we get ln 1 ln 1 is 0 right so so this is uh, 0 over 0. So we can apply the Lee Hospital's rule. I hope this step is clear to you, right? Now, if you apply the Lee Hospital's rule, it really means that the quotient of functions is same as quotient of their derivatives, right? So what we will do now is find their derivatives. So uh, let me uh, extend this to the right side. So I'll rewrite this as limit n approaches infinity for ln y equals to t times limit n approaches infinity and derivative of this. Now derivative of n 1 plus i over n is 1 over this. So we could write this as 1 over 1 plus i over n, right? times the derivative of i over n, which is uh, times minus i square over n, right? So it gets multiplied by this. 
in the denominator we have 1 over n its derivative is minus 1 over n square right so I'm uh, sorry this is square here minus i over n square so minus 1 over n square so that's the derivative of this part so as you can see this cancels out n square and n square so what we get here is that this is equals to t limit n approaches infinity we get minus i minus minus also cancels it becomes plus i over 1 plus i over n right so that's what you get now if i substitute n as infinity i over n becomes 0 so i get t times i over 1 plus 0 right 1 plus 0 which is i t right so that is i times t so what we get here is that the limit n approaches infinity for l and y is equals to i t right now y is this term 1 plus i over n as we defined here right this is y for us so so this is y for us now we are saying l and y is approaching i t when n approaches infinity that really means that you know why l and y could be written as e to the power of l and y so y could be written as y could be written as e to the power of l and y right so y is 1 plus i over n to the power of t and its limit as n approaches infinity so let me write now here limit when n approaches infinity for y which is 1 plus i over n to the power of n t is indeed equals to e to the power of l and y as n approaches infinity now l and y is i t so it is equals to e to the power of i t right so so that is how these things are related now if i correlate them that is to say this particular function is is this right and therefore I can write that for continuous compounding the final investment amount will be initial amount times e to the power of i t right so that is how we can derive the formula for continuous compounding right so I hope you understand and appreciate how using Lee hospitals rule we can actually derive the formula for continuous compounding from a standard compound interest formula. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you understand and appreciate how it has been done. You can go through this video once again to understand the concepts. And always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.